What if I told you that you could clone any web app design features without writing a single line of code? Sounds wild, right? Well, watch this. I just described the app that I want to build and within minutes, the code is generated and the app is live and fully functional. Yep, that just happened. In this video, I'm going to show you how to clone a fully functional web application in just minutes. The user login, database, custom design, and even publishing it online with the free domain, all with zero coding. So if you've ever dreamed of launching your own app without tech headache, then you need to see this. I'm Brian from Website Learners, and let's get started. To clone a web app, we are going to do four parts. The first part is to generate the structure for the web app. So in this part, we'll generate the complete structure of the web app, including its design and layout. To do that, we are going to do three steps. And the first step is to create an account on Lovable. Now, this is the AI tool that we are going to use to generate the web app. So to create the account, just click the link in the description. Now click on sign up and sign in with your Google account. Okay, so now we've successfully created our account on Lovable. Once you've created your account, let's go to step two, which is to add a screenshot of the reference app. To clone any web app, you need to provide the AI tool with the reference image. This helps the AI to analyze the design and the layout so it can create an accurate replica of the app. First, you need to take a screenshot of the app that you want to clone. So in this video, I'm going to clone Levin Labs, a popular text-to-speech AI tool. So let's go to Levin Labs and take the screenshot. If you're using Windows, just press Windows plus print screen. For Mac, you can press Command plus Shift plus 4. Once you've taken the screenshot, go back to Lovable, click here, and upload the screenshot. Once you're done, next we need to add the prompt to guide the AI to clone the app we want. So let's go to step 3, which is to get the prompt to create the app. Now to generate the app, we need to give clear instructions to Lovable AI about what it should do. The more details we provide, the better the AI will understand and build the app exactly how we want it. To make this easier, I've created a ChatGPT prompt that will act as a chatbot and help us write the perfect description for our app. I've given the prompt in the description, so just copy the prompt, then go to ChatGPT, paste it here, and click send. Now ChatGPT will act as an AI assistant and it'll ask you a few simple questions about the app you're cloning. First, it'll ask the type of application that we are cloning. Since I'm creating a text-to-speech web application, I'll enter that. Then it'll ask about the primary function of the app. So I'm going to enter, it'll convert text-to-speech with different voice models. Next, ChatGPT will provide a list of 10 best API providers. API allows the software applications to communicate with each other, such as exchanging data, features, and functionalities. Since I'm cloning a text-to-speech tool, the AI cannot build a backend for the app. And that's why we need to select a text-to-speech API. Now, this will vary depending on the type of app that you're going to create. I'm going to go with OpenAI since it provides high-quality voice generation compared to the others. Now, based on your answers, ChatGPT will generate the detailed prompt to generate your web app. Once you've got the prompt, we can generate the web app using Lovable. So to generate the web app, just copy the prompt, go back to Lovable AI, and paste it here. Then click here to start generating the web app. And as you can see, the tool has started writing the code for our app. Once it is done, you can see our web application is ready and it looks exactly like the screenshot we provided. So now we've successfully generated the structure for our app. Next, let's test the app and see if it works. Just enter a text into the input field and click generate. As you can see, the app is not working and has not generated the voice. So let's ask Lovable AI why the app is not working and how to solve this. You can ask your question in the chat over here. And as you can see, it's saying that API integration is not done. If you see here, it also gives us the solution. To make the app work, we need to store OpenAI's API key securely in a database and then integrate it. So why do we need to do this? If we add the API key directly to our app, it will be visible to the public in the source code. This means anyone accessing the site could misuse it. So to keep the API key secure, we need to set up a backend server for our web app. So next, let's go to part two of this tutorial, which is to create a backend server for our app. A backend is essential for making any app fully functional. It handles storage, API integrations, and all the core functionalities. Without a backend, the app won't work properly. So to create a backend for our app, first, we need to connect our web app to Superbase. 
Superbase is an easy to use database service that stores information for websites and apps. It lets beginners quickly create a place to save the data without needing to learn complex database systems. So to connect it, go to Superbase and click connect Superbase and sign in with your GitHub account. Now click authorize Superbase and it will ask you to create an organization. This will be needed to connect Superbase to a web app. So let's click create organization, click create again, then click authorize Lovable. Now we've linked Superbase to Lovable. To finish setting up the Superbase connection, we need to create a project in Superbase. This is where all your app's data will be securely stored and managed. So to create it, go to connect to a project and click create new project. Here give a name for your database, add a password and click create a project. Now we have created the project. Next, we need to connect the project to our app. So to connect it, click here, go to Superbase and you'll see the database which you've created. Click connect and click connect again. So now we've successfully connected our web app to Superbase. So let's ask Lovable for the next steps to make our app work. As you can see, it is suggesting that we need OpenAI's API key to enable the app's text-to-speech functionality. But remember, these steps might be different depending on the type of app that you're creating. So next, let's see how to get OpenAI's API key. To get the API key, click here and it'll take you to OpenAI. Now click Login and sign in with your Google account. Here click on Create New Secret Key, then enter a name and click Create Key and the API key will be created. Once you got the key, to add this key to our app, copy it, go back to Lovable, click Add API Key, paste the key into the input field and click Submit. Once you've added the API key, the tool will secure your API key in the database. And it's done. So now we've successfully created the backend for our app and it is ready to use. Okay, let's test our app and see how it works. First, we'll enter the text in this field and click Generate. The voice has been generated, so let's play it. Hi, I'm Brian, and this is a sample voice recording. Well, that sounds great. We can download the audio by clicking here. And we can also try different voice models. Let's select a new one and click Generate. And there it is. The audio has been generated with the selected voice. And so now we've tested our app and it is working perfectly. So next, let's go to part three of this video, which is to customize our web app. Now, if you see here, our app doesn't have the option to store the generated audio files. Next, let's see how you can create a history page on our app. All the generated audio files are displayed like this. So to create the history page, let's go to the chat. I'm going to instruct Lovable to create a history page where I can see all the generated audio and ask it to store them in Superbase. As you can see, the tool has started writing SQL commands to create the storage bucket for the audio files. And once it is done, we'll get the Apply Changes button here. Click on it. And as you can see, the history page has been added to our app. To check if the history page works, let's generate a new voice. and go to history, you can see that we have generated the audio file. Hi, I'm Brian, and this is a sample voice recording. Now that we've successfully created a history page for our app, let's confirm if the audio files are stored properly in the database. So to check that, let's go to the Superbase dashboard, go here, and click storage. Here there will be a folder called audio files, where all the generated audio files will be displayed. Hi, I'm Brian, and this is a sample voice recording. So this is how you can customize your app to add features. Next, let's add a few more customizations to our app. Okay, right now, anyone can access and use our web app. But what if you want only registered users to access it? So next, let's see how you can create a sign-in page for the users. So to create it, like we did before, let's instruct the tool to create the authentication page for our web app. Then click here. And you can see that the sign up page has been added to our web app. So let's sign up. Enter the email and password. Then click sign up. And that's it. 
we've signed up. Let's check if our user details are stored on the database. And to do that, let's click users. And here you can see that the user details are stored here. So now any registered user can log into the app and access it securely. So now we've created the authentication page for our web application. All right, next, let's see how to create a landing page for our web app. This is the first page users will see when they visit your app. So it is important to make it visually appealing. So to create the landing page, let's instruct Lovable to add a landing page with the features required. And click here. Now you can see that our landing page has been created. And if we click on this button, it'll take us to the sign up page. So now we've successfully created the landing page for our web app. So let's say you want to change any element on your app. How will you do that? So next, let's see how you can customize the elements on your app. To do that, go to edit here. Now click the element which you want to change. I'm going to change this content. So you'll see this editing section like this. Just make the changes here. And it'll be added to your app. Now let's say you want to change the color of this button. So just click on it. And you'll get options to adjust the color and even the size. And in the same way, you can customize any element on your website. Okay, once you're done with the customization, let's go to the final part which is to publish a web app. Once you publish a web app, it will be live on the internet and anyone can access it from anywhere. To publish the app, just click publish and you will be given a domain for your web app. Click publish again and your app will be published and live on the internet and anyone in the world can access it by visiting this address. If you click here, it will take you to the app. Now let's check and see if everything works fine. Click try for free and then sign in. Enter the text, click generate, and the voice will be generated. Hi, I am Brian, and this is a sample voice recording. So we successfully published our app and made it live on the internet. So that's it guys, this is how you can clone any web app using AI. Website Learners is now available on WhatsApp. Whenever we have a new video, it comes on this WhatsApp channel. So to join us on WhatsApp, just scan the QR code and click this link. Now click on this follow button and that's it. You'll now receive the latest updates on WhatsApp. Hope you like this video. So make sure you subscribe to Website Learners for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.